Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the Enclave, we're fairly large, and I need to explain something real quick. So, right now, we left off last time with us being at war with the Commonwealth Gangs of New York, even though there is no one in New York who is part of the Commonwealth Gang. But, so we're at war with them, which is a pretty big faction already with quite a few different states here. So, you're probably wondering right now though. What happened to the Kaiser's Legion's Civil War? Well, I tried to play this earlier, and it just kept crashing. The game literally wouldn't move forward. It'd get to April 20... No, April 30th at the 24th hour, and then just crash. It wouldn't be able to get into the month of May. So, I figured I tr might as well try, because I saw some other people had the same sort of issues on the subreddit for Old World Blues. But, so I... Tried it out with Kaiser just winning this award just by annexing Volpus's legion. So I tried that, and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Kaiser's legion no longer has to face the Commonwealth gangs under the Volpus legion, but they're still at war with the Commonwealth gangs. So, unfortunately, we couldn't see a real good civil war this time, but we're still in a big old pickle here. So, right now, my goal is to get this division back and basically hold out as long as I can against the Commonwealth gang. I hope I can win, but we'll see what happens, of course. So, let's continue right on, and I will switch some of these divisions over from uh, the Militia Tribal Units to uh, regular infantry in the long run. So, uh, let's see, anything here? Nope. Cool. Anyways, yeah, this has been, this is going to be quite a tricky campaign. So, let's let time go on. I want to rescue this one division that's trapped. Give me you. Come down here. Just take this territory right now. These guys are attacking us like crazy. They can't pierce us, so. Which is kind of nice. And we have volunteer forces in transfer. Two from the Capital Brotherhood are arriving. These guys are lined up well. I'll keep an eye out for the Vipers because they might attack me soon. So, yeah. Things are definitely going on around here. And not a lot of good things, I'll say that, to say the least. Painted men join... Just, I don't know why there's so many com people joining the Commonwealth. It doesn't make any sense. Like, there is no Commonwealth gang around here. Okay, pretty darn close over here. Go ahead and try to attack them this way. I want to I really want to rescue that one division while holding the line over here. And my goal is for the Mormons to actually hold on as long as possible. Oh my goodness. I, I, need, I will really, really need the Mormons to uh, save some of our booties. Oof. I can't believe I said I needed the Mormons to help me out. But, you know, this is Old World Blues. You never know what might just happen. Go and go that way. Go ahead and go help them out this way. I really hate attacking with these militia divisions, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, go ahead and retreat. Grab your territories. Yeah, I'm gonna allow anyone that wants to come through my territories to do that. Go ahead and retreat both of yourselves as well. That'll be good. But I gotta keep an eye on for the NCR. They're getting pretty close to capitulating. And when they capitulate, I'm gonna take some territory for myself because the game won't actually let me do that. But whatever. Whatever. Very nice. Genetic screening, very nice. Um, someone told me to ex reject ghouls and super mutants. Well, we already are segregated, so I can't really do that. So. Oh well. Um, right now, honestly, we don't even need to do. The Lucio or the Bishop incident. So we have 53 um, army XP. I could do military propaganda for more defense and recovery rate and get more American citizens in an, an emergency, which would actually be very, very useful. Uh, requires all the following. I want to do home defense for more division defense on core territory, but we're not really fighting on core territory, so military propaganda is probably the one we got to do because I'm going to really, really need it. Go ahead and hold. You guys come over here. Not actually, I really don't mind if you guys expand down here. Let's go ahead and take half of these guys and already make them Enclave Auxiliaries. We don't have nearly enough infantry equipment or support equipment, but we'll have that in time. And in the end, I might delete half of those divisions just because... The, at least the tribal divisions, just because they're not really useful. Oh my goodness. That is really not good. Wait, the Navajo Nation is called Vipers as our ally in the nation in the war against the Western Brotherhood. Oh my goodness. So, I need you guys to split off immediately and come back over here. And I need you guys to rearrange yourselves. This is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. 
Oh my goodness. Oh god dang it. This, uh, I'm going to have to call an audible here. I need you to do this, this. Uh, I don't want to lose any territory. Instead of these three, we can do just two instead. I don't mind losing Old Bishop then if, if I have to do this. I can't afford them to take too much territory. So then you guys are left guarding this entire area by yourselves. Ugh, this is such a massive, crazy war. Um, you probably don't honestly need to even go that way. Just make an encirclement, perhaps. Because if they want to do this crap to me, I'll do the same thing to them. Oh, and we do need a leader here, Field Marshal. Promote Jacob Dwemer Freedom. Freedom person? Freeman. Freeman. Get the aggressive assaulter, that's usually pretty good to do. Uh, anywhere we can exploit the line at all. Well, I guess if you're attacking, you might as well help attack. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. To prepare for the future, vault developed the Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. Designed to test every citizen's worth to society after the bombs fell. Although we are currently screening for genetic damage, some observe that we could simply make all children take the go while they turn 16. Children who do well in the test are obviously genetically hardy stock, well suited to the reconstruction. Or the parents can afford to hire qualified teachers, but surely that just shows their parents are fine Americans. We lose stability for more oligarchy, or we gain legitimacy. I don't want to lose stability at all. Even though oligarchy seems pretty nice, in the end, I think we can get more oligarchy anyways? I could be wrong about that. Let me see, before we move on. I don't really want to lose stability at all. We're going to go under law and order and then new order. Um, More autocracy. No daily gain of autocracy, though. Extend presidential powers. Huh. But we do already have a focus that gives us perhaps more daily political power gain. No? Hmm. I thought I had something for this already. More autocracy support. Free elections. Suspend elections. Uh, legitimacy, honestly, I could probably use that a little bit more legitimacy right now. I'm going to go with this. I could use slightly more legitimacy. Yeah, this is turning out to be very, very dangerous. Go ahead and help them out. Push them back. If you can, please tell me you can. Because this ain't good. Because, boo boo, this ain't good. Uh, go ahead and circle these guys off. Oh, good. Actually, you guys did a good job over here. So you don't even need that. Do that. Or just clip that person, take this person out, and destroy two divisions. Nice, there you go. Do that, do that, and come down here. Cool. That's really good. The NCR is refusing to give up, which is fine. I'm actually okay with that so that they can still cause more damage to the Sky Reavers and the Commonwealth Gangs. It looks like New Canaan actually is doing fairly well, even though the Navajo Nations is pushing pretty hard into Kaisar's Legion. But I doubt Kaiser had that many soldiers. Nice, we got more recon, more soft attack. I could probably use machine guns, to be honest with you guys. I could probably really, really use machine guns. Let's get some more reinforce rate first. In terms of factories, we need more support equipment. Some more vertebrates. I'll definitely expand this first, though. That's probably the most important. Are we building anything? Factories. Good. Tobin Wastes. Oh, though they attacked us. No wonder that thing... No wonder that's why that's under construction. Ooh, can we get rid of another division over here? Maybe. Can I get rid of... Come this way as well, perhaps? Good. Yeah, those guys are going to perish. Awesome. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. Military propaganda, very good. Only 11 army XP, which is not great, but, you know, better than nothing. Department of the Navy, revive the Air Force. Nothing we can do over there, so we're going to go back with more segregation. Everyone loves segregation. Let's go ahead and do first citizens for more stability, war support, reduce the effects of legitimacy, and gain a little bit more oligarchy support. Anywhere I can put myself. Uh, yeah, stop attacking. You could probably come over... Yeah, maybe you can actually come that way. 
see what happens. The Brotherhood's definitely stepping their game up, but I cannot join the Brotherhood. I found that out <clears throat> when I was looking at joining the faction. They really don't want to accept me, but they can't, because the Enclave is not allowed to join factions. No factions at all. No, 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 that's a big no, 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 no. Uh, this is just one heck of a mess. If you can't, go this way, perhaps? It looks like our, not our allies, but the Jackals are actually pushing in, so I'm going to see if I can help them out. Go ahead, add you to come over here, because we can get the 305, we can get the supply from that area as well. And that could be kind of helpful. Spies compromised. Um, I've already said this before, I think. So, it really doesn't matter. I don't mind suspicion going up for a little bit more stability. Because actually, that helped us out quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, but it's better to have it than not have it. Cool, you guys look like you are suffering from attrition or something, so take that. Take that, and oh my goodness, and here we go. So, NCR code cracked. So, we can, doing this, we can take quite a bit of territory immediately if we can just rush our soldiers through here. So we're going to do that the best we can. Next, because of this, yeah, there's really nothing we can do here. Hmm, I should really reform this line. There you go. Now at least we have one solid line that we can support each other in. That's actually maybe a little bit better. Up here, we're fine, but things are just not looking good. So we're going to push as hard as we can into Sky Reaver territory. Uh, yeah. Militias and infantry units take as many factories as possible. I'm going to need more divisions to help guard the ports, but oh my goodness, this is... A lot more difficult than I thought this campaign would be. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Oh my goodness. Good. I'm, I don't mind them attacking right now. Just because that means these guys won't be able to move. Which is very, very important for us. Uh, I could move into there, but they already started moving. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Frankly, I'm going to need another division over here. Come to New Reno. Plop you out. You guys are 15 combat width, so add you to right there. Hmm. Tribal infantry. Oh, we have encountered some divisions down here. That's not good. That is really not good. So, Kaiser's Legion is doing okay-ish. Not great. Oh, we get some divisions from the Cyclops tribes. Oh! The Mojave Brother really wants to help us out, as well as Vault City. Ooh, Vault City. I might ally with you in the future. And the Washington Brotherhood wants to definitely, definitely expand. Oh, yeah, stop wasting your attack. You could be used better for other things. Refined Mixture, better trickleback, which is very, very important for us. I can't do anything there. I just need more. I need more of everything, really. There's so much that we need, but I just don't have the resources to do everything I want. Which sounds like... A very normal thing, honestly. Get over here. Yes, yes. That's good. Take these guys out as well. They can't heal up over there. Go ahead and lower yourself to this. Just take this stuff, guys. I need you to move quickly. You don't need to attack here. Um, if you can do a little sneaky, I'd be okay with that. Actually, keep attacking this area. With a guy moving beyond this area, that would be actually pretty darn good. Come down here to meet up over here, and then take that guy out. We have about a little bit more than a thousand manpower. Not great. Not great, but not bad either. Um, this is just crazy. That's just all this is. This is just crazy. Awesome. We've encircled them. That's really good. Uh, I don't want to take this, but I, I might be forced to. Go ahead and help them out at Flynn Ranch. Immediately begin attacking this way. Encircle. And those divisions were destroyed. Awesome. You guys come down here. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Go ahead and take that too. Cool. Uh, just go ham, guys. I need you to go ham as hard as fast as possible because I need more factories. Ooh, baby. Baby Jesus. I need baby Jesus right now to help give me a win. Now, I doubt I can attack through here and be successful, but we might as well see if we can try to be... Oh, I forgot. I also have some uh, close air support to help us out. There you go. Now, now we should win, right? Or lose. Okay, we're going to lose. Hmm. And the Washington Brotherhood still wants to expand. 
We could send out spies, but the NCR is dead. Which means we can still exploit that little uh, vertebrate extraction thing. At least right now, we're kind of saving up on power armor to a degree. Uh, they have... I need to get through here. If I can get through this little area where my mouse is, through Wood Lake, that could really set us up for some really good stuff. Yeah, just go ahead and take all this. <clears throat> I need you guys to get down to Wood Lake as fast as possible. Come down there. Come down here. Good, good, good. Because the out the Commonwealth is definitely trying to store up more and more soldiers, which is not good for us at all. Nice. Also, I'm joined here by my cat named Binky. But he's just, once again, sleeping on my trash bag. And no coffee today, because, like I said earlier, I was having troubles with this mod, and I figured, you know what? I'm I'd rather drink coffee now than drink coffee when it's cold. Because when I had it, it was fairly warm. Fairly fresh. And, oh no, here we go. They're starting to attack us like crazy. This is not good. This is very, very bad. But we got more recon now, which is good. We need more soft attack, heart attack, and recruitable population, which will be great. And yes, I'm purposely playing this game somewhat slowly because I don't want to make too much of a mistake. Good, they're attacking us here. Immediately keep moving south. Because if I can get down here, it's we'll be in a very, very good position. They'll have to play war on new Huron cannibals. Um, okay. Give me you. Uh, actually, give me the other person. You're already kind of halfway down here. Come down here and move there. Cut these guys off. Whoa! Whoa! What just happened? Um, well then, well then, I was not expecting this, Wh oh, maybe Kaisar's Legion actually conquered the Navajo Nations, holy crap, this is a little unfair, but I'm not going to cut this out, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do, so just give me everything first, guys, thank you very much, I love player-led peace conferences mod, so, uh, let's play see, Kaisar, you're going to get all the Navajo Nation just because you deserved it and no one can touch them, uh, I'm also going to help out Kaiser's Legion and give them the Yampa, just because they're north here. So yes, we are setting up one hell of a big Kaiser's Legion, but they kind of deserve it. And this will probably end the end of the Sky Reavers. I did not think this was, this was actually going to happen. Uh, I don't want to give this to... Uh, I need to help out the Mormons a little bit, because they, they actually did quite a bit of work around here. So the 80s... Where is the Mormon New Canaan? There you are. Uh, this is the 80s and... There you are. Take all states. You are welcome. Uh, for me, obviously, I get all of the Yakuza territory because, well, why not? Thank you very much. I'm taking all of this to all of this and all of that. And probably all this, as a lot of the Sky Reaver territory, which honestly should be mine. So, because the NCR capitulated before I could actually get any sort of real territory, I'm also taking off Dayglo from the Rapids down here. So, at least the Brotherhood won't really have to... I won't have to deal with the Brotherhoods too much. I need this, 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 this. Thank you. Because all y'all suck. All, not you guys, but these enemy nations here. Ah, now it's going to look like one thick enclave. Um, to have a little bit more fun, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to call it, pull it cheeky. Uh, yeah, I'll take Greater Dayglow. I'll take all of Baja California because why the hell not? Nice, and I might as well take all this too. Cool. Kaiser's Legion, I already gave you quite a bit of territory. Um, other places, Tar Walkers, where are the tar, tar Walkers? Crazy Horns, Grand Tribes, Tarwires. So the Mormons definitely are going to get bigger, which I'm totally okay with. Cool. Oh. Tarwalkers. Take this. I hate these small little territories. Uh, cool. Awesome. I might as well take this as well. So over here is the Mojave chapter, I believe. Hmm. I really don't want Kaiser's Legion to be this close to me. But who else was here? Dead Horses, Iris, Federation of... Why do you... Why did you in the war score stuff? Heaven's Gate. Oh, Heaven's Gate. Yeah, you can actually take Pharaoh. Uh, what is... Pharaohs. Cool. What else? Iris. So, we have the Painted Men over here. They kind of have NCR... Not NCR. They're bordering the Kaiser's Legion. Let's make this a little more interesting. Give this to Kaisar. Actually, who is this over here? 
Actually, don't do that yet. Grand Tribes. 80s. Dead... Oh, you know what? Dead Horses. You deserve this. That'll be much more interesting to see. Cool. So we got new... Oh, God. This is going to be so difficult to do. Um, the 80s. New Canaan took that territory. Ripe Fruit. New... Uh, dead Irish. Lone. New Canaan. Heavens. Sorrows. Like, I Sorrow Productions. You take the Great Cons. And you know what? Sorrows, you can also have St. George's. And that. And Meadow Valley. Cool. Uh, Tar Walkers. I'll come back to the Tar Walkers, just because. Why not? You can take Lincoln, which isn't great for us, but whatever. Honestly, we're left with the Grabber Territory, which is over here. We're left with the Painted Men, which is... Is that up north? Where's the Painted Men? It's not down south. Painted Men. Oh! It's down here. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's 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 the Painted Men. Oh, I'm gonna take this. Give me this stuff first. Take Area 6. I'm taking Area 51. Screw you guys. Um... That'll look a little better. I'm gonna take some of this as well. Screw it. I'm taking this just because I might as well border Kaiser's Legion. This is gonna ruin the economy. It's just gonna ruin everything. Tar Walkers, you might as well take this. I don't mind giving that to you. Sorrows. Come back to them since they're bordering it. You are. I know they probably don't deserve all this stuff. I can't even reach New Vegas. So, actually, with New Vegas, what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take them all, but I'm going to liberate them. I'm going to take New Vegas, but I'm going to liberate them and not make them my puppet. They'll still be an independent faction. Just because no one can touch them, and I don't want anyone else to be too powerful. We'll take them out eventually, but I think it just sets them up for as a neutral nation between them and someone else. So don't release as a puppet. Yeah, some people are going to be like, oh my goodness, why'd you do that? We're going to take them out eventually anyway, so wow. This was crazy. I did not expect that's, this to happen at all. Holy crap. I don't... Ugh. I don't know, man. I just don't know anymore what is going on. But anyways, uh, give me the Rebel Militia. I'm going to need some manpower, so thank you for the, your guns. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys are nine combat with half you guys. Go bye-bye. And then take the other two you have here. Just select everyone and just become... Oh, some of you guys cannot do this. Enclave Auxiliaries. You guys become Enclave Auxiliaries. And you guys become Enclave Auxiliaries. Good. Ooh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. You guys, um... So, you guys will... Actually, you know, give me half of you guys. Half of y'all will come down here and border the Legion. Because everything is fun when we're on the Legion. Come on, mouse. I might need to get a new mouse. It's kind of dying on me. Oh, my goodness. That was one heck of a war. Like, I don't even know what happened. Um, so, Klamath is good, actually, as a border nation against the Northern League, which will be good. Actually, that's really good to have Klamath there. Holy crap, I didn't even realize that. Right through territory, are you allied with... No, you're not. I might need to do this. Maybe. Cool. And at least we got more military... Holy crap, that's a lot of military factories. Oh my goodness. Do this. Do that. Pump you up to here. Pump you up to another level. Do that. Scrap fighters. Do this. Uh... That'll be alright. Do that. Make a lot of gunships. Yeah. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Convoys. Go ahead and start making a super heavy barge instead. And we'll put them at Point Tolaire. Tolaire. Awesome. Oh, we still have another one. Um, we're making super heavy barges. Go ahead and make a sailing ship as well. At Tolaire. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what's happening. You know, just... I think I'm thankful for the Mormons. Blessed be thy Mormon name. Oh, I, I, I thought this would last a little bit longer for the wars, just because 
it was just insane, but at, at least it's done. Reorganized remnants are no longer fulfilled and has been replaced with disorganized remnants, so we're going to lose some manpower. That sucks. That is not very bueno for us. But, hey, at least, I, I guess it's a positive. The Brotherhood got out of the war sooner than I expected, which means that we actually took more NCR territory than I initially planned, so... Thank you very much, Brotherhood. Just don't go to war with me, please. First citizens, very nice. But... Oh, we reduce the, legit the effect of legitimacy further. We can get new Spartans, which would be okay. Model communities is actually pretty good. Uh, new knights would be cool. But we've got other things to do. We need to do our new city. Oh, we need... Oh, God, we need Vault City so I can do this. But I can't do that because that means I have to go to war with the Brotherhood. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, can we do Rebuilding a Nation? Uh, the NCR has fallen. That'll happen very, very soon, I'm sure. So... Uh, we can't do anything on the right. So let's go back to the left here. We can't rebuild the nation just yet. We'll have that focus come very soon. Subsidize servants. Promote healthy living. New Spartans. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, manpower, political power. I want cores. But we can do that in time. More manpower and political power. Go and do model. Just do that one for now. We'll see what happens. Washington Brotherhood is expanding. But if the Washington Brotherhood goes to war with Klamath... Or no, if they go to war with... Oh, hmm. Do they, will they go to war with Klamath, which will draw on the Brotherhood of Steel? I've seen that happen before. I don't know. But our war sport's very nice. Everything's very nice. Hayes burns genetic test results. Although Hayes is a member of the Enclave and still of fine American stock, like everyone else, he had to be screened for mutations. Hayes has publicly burned his results in the streets of Dayglow along with dozens of other protesters. Shockingly, some of the protesters were seen waving NCR flags beyond Hayes as he shouted, he will always fight for freedom. And be careful what you wish... Oh my goodness! The destruction of NCR has left our army overextended with raiders and supermutants attacking outlying towns. The people of NCR are bitterly divided over those who hope for a better future and those who fear the power the fear, the fear, power armor marching through their towns. NCR loyalists have taken to the hills, sniping at our men and supply convoys. Factories and caravans lay idle as merchants fear whether their dollars are worth the paper they're printed on. And California's leadership await their fate, wondering if they can work with the United States or if they will end their days at a camp in the Mojave. The Enclave has won, but time will tell if, in destroying the NCR, America has lost. So I'm not going to click this yet, since we still have a little bit of time for about 12 days for this to actually take effect, which we will just lose so much of everything, which will be insane, even though I've already clicked on Model Colony, so I'm gonna let this just play out first for us. Because I wanna actually use the factories as best as I possibly can first, and actually go ahead and do this. Repair everything first as you are building up uh, New Reno. Cool. Uh, yeah, and not just New Reno, but there you go, Hawthorne. Cool. So, I want to use my stuff as much as possible for now, because I won't have access to all this stuff in the very near future. Oh, my goodness. This, is, this has been one heck of a crazy playthrough. I'm surprised the Brotherhood actually didn't take that much NCR territory. They did take the Junk Town. Another victim for the Brotherhood, with a fall of the Troll War and the Raider faction under Paladin Rodriguez is eager for new plunder. Set their sights on Bellingham, which they get the war goal against Bellingham once this I click this, but I'm not going to click it, so to save time. Prioritize civilian relief, gain legitimacy, but lose construction speed and free repair. Legitimacy really means nothing to me right now. By clicking that, <sighs> Shady Sand Remnants, as of, after the fall of Navarro, many survivors tried their luck at integrating NTR, while a large number were found out and arrested. Many more successfully began the new lives in Shady Sands. Those people and their descendants have now petitioned us to join the Enclave. Thank you very much. I don't know what happens if this doesn't, if I don't click this, so it's only 50 political power, let's do that. We need a lot more war support, but we still have a very good amount of stability. War of the Red Menace, we lose stability for more weekly war support, actually that's not bad. Let's begin a scavenging program. Yeah, might as well do that, we could scavenge for some stuff. We can actually go to war with who? Vault City, oh yeah, I can go to war with Vault City, but they're allied with the Brotherhood. And I'm definitely not ready for a war with the Brotherhood whatsoever, so. Oh my, look at that. Effective total manpower modified to 36%. Oh my goodness. Eh, but we got model colonies dead horses. Um. Alright, well, so be it. Let's go ahead and start rebuilding a nation. Because this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins, my friends. Uh, jingoism. Okay, we got jingoism. California resistance sucks. Collapsed government sucks. Weekly stability goes down. Oh, I forgot about that. Anarchy. Weekly stability goes even further down, which really sucks. And disorganized army. Oh my goodness. 
We need less than 50% stability for more peacekeeping, huh? Washington Brotherhood declared war on the Bellingham Union. All right. We got raiders. Oh, Washington Brotherhood. Secure the northern border. I need a couple divisions in Redding over here. All right. Give me the smallest number. Pop. Actually, just go ahead and, like, do... Oh, that's all my power armor in one place. Okay, well, whatever. Ugh, this has been one heck of a crazy playthrough so far. Just hopefully they don't... Yep, no supply problems there. That's good. Secure the northern border. Oh, and I need complete rebuilding a nation, which happens soon. Advanced technology trade with the Brotherhood was terminated because of the lack of... Ah, oh, civilian factories. All right, well, so be it then. Oh, you're so... You were so close to completing in Love Lock. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on. Why you hurt me like this? Oh, and you guys can probably stop doing that for now. Uh, just go ahead and join them. Cool. And we have rebuilding a nation. The president and the people. Over 200 years, the enclave president has wielded a great amount of power within the organization, if not all. With the Congress only given an advisory role and lacking any true power as a legislative branch. But times have changed rapidly. We are no longer a limited military organization, but a government. How will the role of the president change in the future? Take a strong president to defeat communism. Autocracy. Uh, we'll take strong people to bring peace. Or take a strong president. Autocracy or autocracy? Wait. Ruler party? Or ruler party? Ruler party. Dornan. I want the elites. Richard Grant. Uh, to bring peace to America. I need more support for autocracy. But I like the war support. What's the difference between these two? Hmm. I'll go with... Let's defeat communism together, friends. The fate of our democracy. I know I need to get vaccinations eventually. That'll be important. I could boost the civilian economy. Uh, Reclaim the Declaration of Independence. Huh. I, I remember doing that one before. But, let's see. To get rid of this, we need to revive the Federal Reserve. For collapsed trade, we need to replace it with Chamber of Commerce. And disorganized army, we need to get rid of... We need less stability. Alright, that's pretty easy. There's just so much we need to do. Fund the EPA. Commerce. I'm going to go with Law and Order, though, first. So that'll be our first thing to do the next time we come and watch and play together. So, guys, this has been one hell of an interesting playthrough so far. From the massive war that basically was World War III on our borders, fighting the rest of America... To what we have now as everyone else alive. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we are trying to figure out what we're going to do as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority. Thank you for watching.